We get together here on Wednesday evenings and talk about the early days of single sideband. A lot of us are on vacuum tube radios. Folks come by on hybrids. And sometimes people come by on modern radios if you're interested in what we're doing here. And everybody's welcome. Uh, let's keep the buy-sell trades to vintage radios. And uh, this is a great place to ask for some technical advice like I just did to one of the NET members a while ago because a lot of people know stuff that uh, a lot of us need to know and don't always know. So if you're working on a radio, need some help with it, uh, jump in here and uh, put the question to the group. I'm going to uh, talk about uh, this station right quick, then we'll pick up uh, some check-ins and we'll give it to Jay. Uh, I don't usually start the NET out with this frequency, cause, with this rig, because it's quite of a kind of a primitive deal. Uh, Collins built a VFO, which was actually a permeability-tuned oscillator in 1948, and they called it the 310B, and they used it with their big AM rigs in those days. I'm using it to be the VFO for Heathkit's first single sideband exciter called the SB10 adapter, and it was sold so that people could adapt their existing AM rigs to single sideband. I, uh, I'm, I used it to adapt a, a Heathkit novice rig, the DX60, to a uh, single sideband. And uh, then that's putting out uh, about uh, 60 watts into the input of the Collins 30L1. And I'm listening to everybody on Drake's first receiver, the 1A, from the year 1957. So let's talk to folks. Uh, Jay, I'll uh, talk to a bunch of people, then I'll give it to you, and we'll go from there. Anybody have a comment uh, that needs to be made before I start taking check-ins? How about W5DK? Don, talk to us. Uh, hello, Lynn, everybody. W5DK in uh, Spring Branch, the one in the hill country here, north of San Antonio by the Guadalupe River. I'm, I'm checking in with the, uh, the normal station here. It's a Drake TR4 with a shiny D104. And a whole bunch of accessories. Got the L4 amp and going through a double extended zip. So normal station. Appreciate you checking me in. Everybody sounds good for the finest uh, non-alcoholic uh, boat anchor net that I've ever heard. Back to you, Lynn W5DK. Well, I've got a beer on the table here, Don. <laughs> but whatever works. Beautiful signal. Great signal on your part. Nice to hear you. Anything else for the group this evening? No, nah, no, nah, I was fibbing about the non-alcoholic anyways. Okay, all right. Uh, by the way, for the record, uh, this is a kind of a primitive station, uh, and I like to uh, compare it to the, I call this the radio version of a 1959 Studebaker. Not too good, but it'll get you where you're going. Let's see if Jeff is still around. OMR, hey, Jeff, are you still here? I heard you a while ago. I don't hear Jeff. Mr. Denver down the radio voice of Gonzalez. OJB, talk to us. All right, this is N5OJB in Gonzales, Texas, and I am uh, talking to you on a 32S1 and listening to you on a 75S1. And uh, I'm, I'm running a, a, behind that. There is a uh, uh, an NCL 2000 running a roughly around eight to nine hundred watts. I also have the uh, a 312B4 station console and I'm going into an inverted V fan dipole at about 30 foot in the air. These are all wing emblems uh, uh, Collins equipment except for the amplifier and um, the amplifier is, is like I said it's a national NCL 2000 and it's running a, a pair of 8122s. Uh, and and I, I love these things, and I will not get rid of them. Somebody said, was I going to sell them? Man, no, I'm not going to sell them. Uh, I, that's one thing that I am going to keep. Uh, back to you, Lynn. It's pretty hard to beat the Collins and that national amplifier. You're always the only guy who has one, so keep it up, Denver. I certainly will. All right, let's move on down the road here. I don't think Barry is still here. YMF. Barry, are you still here by any chance? Okay, Barry was here earlier. TXW, George, yours. Howdy, Lynn, and all around the net from WB5TXW for the finest hour of amateur radio. And I just blew a fuse in the amplifier. 
Oh, crap. Yep, that's what that was. In any event, I'm on the um, 32S175S3. I was on the 30L1. And now, uh, now not. And, uh, sure, 444, 75 meter dipole, and that's it. Over. You sure you got the loading capacitor all the way to the left? Zero? Uh, pretty much, yes. Okay, we'll have to check that out. All right, we'll be in touch. Uh, uh, breakfast Saturday morning? Oh, yeah, I'll get in touch with you Friday and see if we're a go, but uh, 99% sure. Okay, uh, anybody else wants to join us? El Nuevo, Mexico, Anderson Lane, North Lamar. 8 o'clock uh, Saturday morning. Moving on. CXG, KA5, uh, CXG. Talk to us, Bob. K5 LYN. Well, Bob was there a while ago. Maybe he'll be back. LT, Lyle. Uh, good evening, Lynn. Everyone else on the net. Uh, let's see. I'm running the usual tonight. Running the Heathkit SB101. Going to the Heathkit SB221 amplifier. Out to the double extended zip. Running through the cedar trees. Everybody's doing good here. Enjoyed the rain the past few days. Made the trip to College Station last weekend to go see my daughter. And uh, she's finishing up her semester and be back home soon. So, looking forward to that. And, uh, I don't know about y'all, about the, well, we're also early in the net. Don talking about the non alcoholic version of the Bone Anchor Net. And it's like, well, we're still early. You still got another 45 minutes to go. So, I'm sure it'll change the closer we get to 8.30. So, other than that, doing good, Lynn. Back to you. K5LD. Great signal, Lyle. And, yeah, about the rain, uh, we got uh, a total of four inches out of that uh, rainy spell. We're, we're thrilled here after being in drought so long. How would you do down there? Any, any idea off the top of your head? I have no idea how much rain we got. My rain gauge got destroyed back in 2016 from a hailstorm, and, and I replaced it once, and that one disappeared. I haven't replaced it again. I keep thinking it'll show up one of these days. Probably about time to give up on it and go get a new one. So I have no idea how much rain we got. I know we got some good rain, though. Yeah, it sure was nice. Uh, we're celebrating it up here. All right, uh, let's see here. Moving on, Mr. Tom, KC5L, talk to us. Hey, good evening, Lynn, and the Boat Anchors Net. Uh, this is Tom, KC5L, in San Antonio. And uh, tonight uh, we're on the usual here. We're talking on the Central Electronics 200V. Uh, with an original D104 microphone. And that's driving a Central Electronics 600L amplifier doing about uh, 300 watts into a Johnson KW matchbox and a homebrew doublet of about 15 feet. And we're listening on an R390A. And uh, Lynn, your Studebaker's sounding uh, great here in uh, San Antonio this evening. Uh, I was hearing you earlier when you were running barefoot and uh, you were doing real well, so uh, the band must be... Uh, well, the band's quiet tonight, and that really helps a lot. Uh, only other thing here is I got about, uh, uh, I don't know, 8 to 10 inches over the past week, week and a half or so. Not all at once, but uh, it's been a really nice soaking, and uh, we've been uh, sorely in need of uh, uh, that kind of rain down here. Uh, that's all I have, Lynn. Uh, good evening to everyone else. Uh, so back to you, KC5L. Beautiful signal as uh, usual, Tom. And I'll uh, join you next week on my central electronic stuff. Uh, great signal here. And uh, you did better than we did. Uh, nicely done. And thank you for the comments <laughs> on this radio. It's fun to operate it just for sport once in a while. And we'll, cheap, uh, we'll, we'll change over to the cheap and easy SSB if I get a second turn here. All right, I'm going to pick up Dan next, and then I'll give it to Jay. And, and Jay, I'll tell you who I've got remaining on my list here. KWOZ. Hey, Dan, bring us up to date. K5LYN. Well, did I find Dan down the hall? Let me pick up uh, Mike instead, and we'll leave uh, Dan on the uh, to-do list. N5MOK. Hey, Mike, talk to us. Yeah, good evening, everybody on the net there. Uh, it's Mike Kilgore, N5MOK. But tonight I'm talking on the old, uh, old uh, TS520 uh, old standard uh, radio uh, uh, with the MC60 uh, microphone. Uh, uh, done about 50 watts into the... Uh, SP220 getting about right, right at 800, taking out about 800. Uh, oh, antennas, oh, uh, 
We in Florida Bay. You've been up for uh, umpteen years. Uh, <laughs> I keep telling everybody it, it's a temporary antenna, but it's uh, it's been up there for a long time. But anyway, other than that, uh, I plan on going to Paris. Uh, tailgate sale this coming Saturday. Hope to see some of y'all up there. I, I know it'll be too long a ride for some of y'all, but anyway, uh, that's my old plan for the weekend. Uh, back to you. Uh, N5, M-O-K. Yeah, okay, Mike. Hey, I want to tell you, when you changed the mic a while ago, uh, I agreed with Dan that that microphone is much better. In fact, you sound the best to me right now uh, of all the, the stations and signals that I've heard uh, out of your place. So, nicely done. Okay, Jay, are uh, you ready to hear the list of people that I've got pending? Sure, go ahead. Okay, WOZ, and I think we heard WB1E Doug a while ago. We got KL7CD. And then W5DAM Donald, I think that's what it was. And then I got KE5Q Jim. And uh, then we got K5EF Nick in there. So that's that's it on my end. And if it gets around to me again, I'll come back on another station. K5LYN. Carry on. Okay. Good deal. Yep. That pretty much matched what I had. Um, so let me see who's next. Let me see if Dan's back. k W O Z. Are you in there? Uh, he must have got busy. All right, folks, this is JKM5QS, and I'm on a Kenwood TS820S for a receiver. I'm using a Kenwood R820, and I do have them hooked up with the umbilicals for their transceive configuration, and it seems to work pretty well. Um, T, uh, TL922 amplifier, Electro Voice 664A microphone. Uh, homebrew open wire feed line to a uh, homebrew 160 meter dipole with a homebrew tuner in between all that stuff. So here we are. All right, um, KE5Q, uh, Jim. Yeah, this is uh, Kilo Echo 5 Quebec, uh, Jim in Plano. And I am on the usual KWM2 and the 30L1 into the Ultimax uh, double bazooka there, uh, 8040, and using the uh, Sure 444. And appreciate you guys calling the net. Everybody's coming in pretty good tonight. Uh, KM5QS, KE5Q. Okay, Jim. Yeah, it's you're, you're coming in fine, too. It's a lot better than last week. It, it, uh Sure was a lot of crashes then, but it's a lot better now. All right, let me see. WB5OZZ, Mr. Don. Hey, there's WB5OZZ or 520 through the ultimate transmatch by Merch into an in-fed amplifier of 220. Uh, over. Sounds great, Don. You're good and loud. And I, 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 is there a place? Do I do I list all stuff here? You can if it's boat anchor related. Yes, sir. Okay, I got a 1979 dated on the manual HD15 Heath kit phone patch. I just found the closet. And a W4 Drake meter looks brand new. I don't if Drake collectors might like it. Looks good. Anyway, I'm getting the call book wb 5 is that that. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, I've seen that W4 watt meter. That's a good one. Works great. It could use a little calibration, but then can't we all? <laughs> anyway, folks, uh, Don has a a uh, uh, Heath kit HP15 phone patch and a Drake W4 watt meter up for sale. He's good in the call book if you're interested under Whiskey Bravo 5. Oscar, Zulu, Zulu, um, and uh, like that. Anything else, Tom? No, that's it. All righty. Thank you, sir. Let me see. Um, let me double check and see if, Dan, if Dan's back yet. K-A-W-O-Z. Well, I'll put him back down to the end of the list. Uh, K-5-E-S. How about you, Nick? Hey, Jay, how you doing? This is K5EF. Wanted to check in tonight. It's been a few weeks. Uh, I've been away from 
from uh, the QTH, it seemed like on every Wednesday night. So, anyway, everybody's sounding very good tonight. Uh, I'm running the Collins KWM 2A and uh, 30 L1 and one of those little uh, AOR uh, digital uh, VFOs. So that meant I could turn the rig on, and as soon as the filaments came on, I was ready to go, and I'm not drifting. So there it is. Nothing new over here. 73, guys. K5EF. Okay, Nick. Now, I guess everything's still on for Slidedale on uh, October 9th? Yes, it's uh, still set for uh, October 8th and 9th, and I'm sure they'll have more information about it uh, posted fairly soon. All righty. Good deal. Well, thank you, sir, for checking in. Good to hear you. And uh, moving right along, uh, KL7CD, Mike. Okay, Jay, uh, thanks for letting me in here on the wonderful boat anchor night. Before I forget it, I'll just say if we go to Belton on the 1st and 2nd, we go to Slidell on the uh, whatever that is, the 8th and 9th. That's uh, two weekends in a row. I won't uh, be a real popular guy around here. It, that's the way it goes. Hang on a second. Well, you adjust the delay on this box, and it affects the affects the uh, uh, on or the you know sensitivity on it. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, tonight I'm on the Helicrafters Twins. Uh, transmitters in HD44, the working dial lamp, I might add, and the receivers in SX117. Microphone's a D104. And I've got the matching speaker and power supply for the for the transmitter. That runs into an SB220. I'm running about 900 watts tonight. And uh, let's see, that runs into my uh, Johnson Viking KW Matchbox. From the matchbox, I run via uh, open ladder 450 ohm line to uh, a loop. My loop's up about 30 feet on average, pretty much a rectangle. It's a longer than an 80 meter loop, but shorter than a 160. And I don't get on 160, so it works fine for me. Anyway, I hope I'm making the trip. Back to you, Jay. Oh, no problem, Mike. I haven't got every word. <clears throat> yeah, it uh, seems to always get down here pretty good, as long as the sky is not full of light. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, two two weekends in a row. I I would catch a little static here myself. Uh, in that, uh, yeah, I understand. Oh well, you know, you got to sacrifice something, maybe. But she may not. Well, anyway, never mind. Uh, Thank you, Mike. We'll talk to you later. KA5CXG. Bob, are you back? Okay. Uh, Whiskey Bravo 1 Echo. How about you, Doug? Hello, Jay. And all around the boat anchor's net, this is Doug over here in Bryan, Texas. And, uh, yeah, I got a comment on two weekends in a row. You know, uh, some of us guys are probably more popular at the ham fest than we are back here at the uh, at the home of <laughs> Ponderosa there. Hi, hi. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, yeah, well, a good old trusty uh, Swan 500. Boy, I almost got one on eBay. I didn't I didn't bid on it, but it went for 155, 156 bucks, I think, uh, plus shipping. So, but uh, without the power supply, so we got to keep the market value up. Anyway, so inverted B up at 80 feet, and a little help with the homebrew 8877 doing uh, 1.46 kW. So just a hair under legal limit. So just idling along, just sliding under the wire, as they say. And uh, yeah, thumbs up to all the non-drifting. Collins radio uh, stations out there. So, hi, hi. All right, Jay, send it back to you. This is Whiskey Bravo, One Echo. Back to net. Okay, Doug. Yeah, I know. I'm down the band maybe nine or ten cycles, but I'll fix it in a little while, maybe. Um, <laughs> yeah, and that uh, popularity, I resemble that remark as well um, occasionally. Uh, can't win them all. K-8-W-O-Z. Dan, are you back? Hmm. K-A-5-C-X-G. Bob? 
Donald? Oh, yes, I'm here, and I'm sorry if I gave the impression I had a boat anchor. I said I don't have one, unless you want to call a Tentac Orion 2 one. I uh, just uh, was wishing everybody with one a happy uh, boat anchor day over. Oh, okay. Well, it's, you know, it, it, like we always say, if you're interested in what we're doing and stuff, it, we don't mind you checking in. That's that's perfectly perfectly fine. Um, someday maybe you will have a boat anchor, and then you'll be all practiced up, Roger. Roger, Roger. Well, I had one, and I sold it. Kind of wish I hadn't. But anyway, I appreciate you coming back to me. <laughs> W5DAM, 73. Okay, Donald. A good deal. All righty, Rusty. Well, I've got quite a few, so why don't we just, I just turn it to you because I'm, uh, the only two that I had on my list that didn't answer was was Dan and uh, Bob, WOZ and CXG. So you might um, give them a shot every once in a while when you're running down your list. Can we get KE5Q? Yes, sir. Okay. All right, Jay. Uh, good evening, everybody. This is WK5R. And I'm not on a boat anchor, but y'all all probably know why. <laughs> anyway, I'm running the 590, the Audio Technica mic, and the uh, Homebrew GS35 amp, and the Homebrew fan dipo. Uh, let's see, that was about 1,300 and some odd watts there. So that's where we are. All right. Who else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited? Come now. Kilowatt Nickel 5, Julian Mike. Yeah, I got one of the last five Mike, I believe it was. Go ahead. Uh, there was somebody else in there also. Uh, go ahead. You're the only one I heard. Okay, this is Daryl up in Ruston, Louisiana. Alpha Charlie 5, Delta Mike. I'm uh, running a couple tw- Kenwood Twin 599Ds with an MC50 mic. Uh, going into a AL-1200, into a uh, MFJ-998 tuner, and out uh, on an inverted V about 35 or 40 feet. Over. Roger, Roger. Well, the Kenwood twins are sounding good there, and you're playing loud. <laughs> Appreciate you checking in. All right, well, see if we can pick up the other ones now. Who else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Zero GDK. one Echo 5, Zulu Sierra. November 5, okay, Julian, Julian, India. Uh, N0GBK. Go ahead, Kurt. Hey, good evening, Rusty and the Net. N0GBK, Kurt up here in South Central Nebraska. Good evening, everyone. Uh, you're all sounding good up here in uh, South Central Nebraska tonight. And uh, tonight, Rusty, I'm running my Galaxy GT550. And I have a uh, Turner desk mic with that. And I also have the matching speaker console and remote via phone. And that's in running into an off center fit antenna for about 25 feet. So that's all on this end, Rusty. Thanks for uh, running it tonight. WK501 and that's your GDK. All right, Kurt. Uh, the Galaxy uh, uh, 550 is, uh, is sounding good as usual. Always does. We'll look for you next week, then. All right. Uh, KE5... I think it's Zulu Sugar uh, up in Oklahoma. Go ahead. Kilowatt Echo 5 Zulu Sierra. I'm down by San Antonio. Okay, well, and I'm running go ahead. A 830S and the standard inverted V at about 40 feet or so. And some electro voice mic here. I don't remember the number. But that's it here, man. Thank you all for doing the net. I love listening. Kilowatt Echo 5, Zulu Sierra. Okay, KE5 ZS. <laughs> Sorry about that. I got you mixed up with that one up there. Their calls are kind of similar. Uh, but the 830 sounded great there. All right, who else for Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? N5 JJI. Hey, good evening, Ed. Go ahead. Howdy, Rusty. Good evening to the net. I'm talking a uh, new radio here that I fired up for the first time in about a year. The Yezu FT901DM, barefoot. Threw my tuner and uh, open wire line out to a 160-meter loop and 
I couldn't get the darn thing to key up my amplifier, so I had to do it this way. 73's around, N5, JJI. Oh, the 901 sounds good there. Uh, I appreciate you checking in there. All right, K-A-W-O-Z, if you ever show up now. Okay, how about you, Bob? K-5-Z-X-G, go ahead. I don't need one of them, so I'll throw it back open again. Who else is out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited come now? Okay, uh, go ahead there, uh, mine. I just, you, you come in loud to start with, then you disappear, but go ahead. Okay, hello, hello, hello. I'm not sure this thing is working right. Let me uh, retain. Okay, go ahead there. It sounded like it was a relay kicking out, and maybe they amp or something. Yeah, halfway through your last transmission, the signal did double up. All right, did you get her tuned there, Byron? Okay, we'll come back to him. Okay, is there anybody else out there for the Boat Anchors Unlimited in that one we're waiting on Byron to tune up? I guess not. Byron, did you get her tuned up? Well, well, it sounds like I've hit the end of my string there, so you might want to holler back at Byron there, uh, uh, a little bit lighter. K5LYN, WK5R. Go ahead, man. Well, let's see if I got this thing right. What's it sound like, uh, Rusty K5LYN? Go ahead with it. Sounds good. Okay. Well, we have switched uh, stations here since uh, the beginning of the net. This is a radio called Cheap and Easy SSB from QST 1956, built, uh, built by KG7TR. And it's driving a Johnson Viking Courier amplifier that uh, uh, that Richard made available to me to use with it. And I'm listening on the Drake 2B. This is K5LYN Lynn in Austin, and uh, it's great to hear everybody tonight. Let's see, uh, let's see if Byron is back. Uh, Byron, are you there? We were listening for you, and I agree with uh, Doug. You came up at the end. Byron, are you there? K5LYN. Uh, I believe I am. K5LYN. I'll copy now. WA5EDX. Hey, nice signal. Tell us about it. Okay, I just had to retain. Uh, hold my tongue just right. I don't know what. I had to do something. Free plug the mic. You know the typical stuff. Uh, tonight I have, uh, I'm on the, uh, franchise rig, uh, here in Bluffdale, the old ts eight twenty ten. I've uh, been working on them this week. Got back off the can one. So I think I've got this just about going good. Uh, mostly it's display issues, you know, but uh, getting them worked out. Uh, barefoot. I am barefoot and uh, into the old inverted Z up about 35 feet, MC50 mic. And uh, that's about the size of it. Boy, it's not like we died and went to heaven here today in Bluffdale. Weather's been real nice, low humidity, not too windy. And uh, so I'm sure that'll change in the uh, not too distant future. And uh, I hate the fact that it's May because that means next month is June and it even gets worse after that. So, anyhow, I feel y'all's pain. But looking forward to the next ham fest, wherever that is, and uh, maybe we'll make it to it. Uh, you're sounding good tonight, Lynn, and uh, Jay, and everybody else, so uh, uh, y'all keep the old rigs going. K5LYN, WA5EED, and good evening. Very nice work, Byron. You, uh, you, you're really skilled when it comes to both the vacuum tube circuitry and the later solid state things. You make them all work, and that's uh, way beyond what a lot of us can do. So nicely done. That radio's uh, putting out a nice signal. Great audio. Uh, yeah. Uh, let's see here about Hamfist. Yeah, I sure am looking forward to it. Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get rid of the living, the, the radios in the living room. They're not supposed to be there, you know. So uh, we've, we've got a plan. All right, let's see who else is out there for uh, boat anchors tonight. K5LYN, Lynn and Austin calling and listening. K5LYN, 
KE5 ARQ. ARQ, talk to us. Hey, everybody, this is James in Floresville, Texas. Running Kenwood TS 830S, inverted V about 40 feet, sure triple four mic, and a uh, TL 922A amplifier. And that is about it. Uh, KE5 ARQ, back to you. Yeah, okay, James. Uh, I, I'm on talking on a Sure 4442. Now, tell me a little. Uh, that that went by me kind of fast. Tell me what uh, what radio I listen to on your end again. At a Kenwood TS 830S. Okay, an 830S. Now, I'm uh, there's there's a, a, an era of solid state radios that I'm not real good on, and that's probably one of them. But you're using a Sure Sure 4444. That's a high impedance microphone, isn't it? Yeah, I believe so. I uh, I don't know the specs of it. The quality, you know, it was uh, it was all given to me by my uh, father. It was my grandpa, so you know, I, I guess it's working out pretty good. It certainly is. Very nice signal. So your your grandfather was a ham? Yes, sir. He was. He's a he's a silent key. Passed away last year. Any chance we would remember him? I'm not sure. His call is W5POP. Okay, that doesn't ring a bell, but it may with some of the folks. So uh, thanks for uh, bringing us up to date. And it's uh, it's nice that you're still running his equipment. Uh, we'd like to think that the things we value in this life might uh, be appreciated by somebody else down the road. <laughs> That's what I think, anyway. Great to hear you, James. Anything else for the net this evening? No, I, I just, uh, you know, I... I just got this amp hooked up, so um, I got it from uh, W5DPP Sammy. So uh, I'm I'm glad it's it's going. So uh, how's the audio sound over there? The audio's fine. You got a really nice signal into Austin, so you got it right. All right, thanks a lot. I appreciate you guys, and uh, I might be working out of town next week. Unfortunately, I might be in Austin uh, working out of town, so. We'll see what happens. Uh, I'll be working at the uh, Tito's Vodka Distillery for our company, so I might not be ready. If I do check in, I might be on a uh, Yezu FT-857 mobile. Okay, well, very good. Uh, if you have any extra time, anybody that's been vaccinated is welcome to come by and uh, see the shack here. Uh, you'd certainly be welcome. Anything else for the net, uh, James? No, that's it. You guys have a good evening. K5 AOQ out. All right, who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN calling and listening. K5LRX. Hi, Jack. Talk to us. Hey there, Lynn. Uh, well, evening to, to the net. And gee, you look out the window and it's, it's still light out, which is a real, I think, a real improvement. Uh, you know, wintertime you have this net and talking in a dark room and looking out a dark window. So I think that's progress. The band seemed to be uh, doing better, too, uh, uh, on our AM morning enterprise. Uh, we actually could uh, hear each other, and, and the, the uh, noise was uh, manageable. I guess it's headed in the right direction, so let's hope so. And this is a kind of special uh, day for us, Susie and me. My wife, Susie, uh, I met her, and this, this is our first date 19 years ago. Cinco de Mio Mile, we call it. It's going to be a mile. And we had a wonderful time, and we've been actually together ever since. So, first dates uh, do pan out. Uh, just a just a wonderful soul. It's people who have met her uh, understand. So, anyhow, it is our our uh, our first date anniversary. Uh, we were married in June the uh, January fifth, so it's not our wedding anniversary, but this one is actually in in a lot of ways more important than the. The wedding anniversary. So anyhow, uh, thanks for being there, guys, and you all sound fine. I hope you have a wonderful evening. This is K5 LRX, sign and clear. Yeah, you sound great, Jack. Hey, a question. I know that you're in the business, uh, music business now. Is Susie is also, too, or get, straighten me out on that. Was this a, a music-related event that you all met at? Well, indirectly, uh, we had I had had a, a, a business meeting on a Friday afternoon with uh, some business, some uh, music clients, and uh, my assistant and I went down to uh, Siena, which is this little, uh, you know, fancy Italian high-end restaurant uh, down here at 30, uh, 360 and 2222 in Austin. 
And uh, I was sitting there. Uh, I, I drove the white Ferrari, so it was out front. And this gorgeous lady. I walked in, and there was this pretty, pretty redhead. And uh, you know, she didn't smile at her and say anything to me, and I didn't say anything to her. But turns out the bartender knew, knew us both, and he was a, actually a great jazz guitar player. So uh, the, Susie's friend came bouncing in and said, "My God, I've got to meet the guy who owns that white Ferrari out front." And uh, the bartender pointed at me. So this guy came bounding over and said, uh, "Boy, I'd, I'd love to go for. A, tell me about your car." So I gave him the you know little short story, and and uh, then uh, well, I'd love to go for a ride in your car, but I know my friend Susie here would love to go for a ride in your car. And she looked at him like he had lobsters crawling out of his ears. But anyhow, long and short, it was Donnie was known to both Susie and me. And I checked with Donnie, and he said, oh, she's great. She checked with, checked with Donnie. Donnie said, oh, he's, he's not an Asperger. So she uh, actually came for a ride in the car, and off we went. But the answer is, uh, Sue, we, we, Susie and I met at, at a business venue, kind of, but she's not in the music business other than uh, being a friend of a lot of people who have been out here. And we we were just talking about that today. We had more fun than grown-ups should be allowed to have with their, with their clues on, anyhow. So, anyhow, that's, a, that's the story. Uh, you asked, there it is. K5 LRX. Uh, take care. We'll be seeing you all shortly. Okay, Jack. I figured there must be a story there. Sometimes cars have a way of uh, doing those kind of things. I met my wife at a country music uh, uh, dance joint in 1981. I was driving a 1937 Hudson Terraplane in those days. So cars have a role. All right, let's move on. Uh, who else for the boat anchors this evening? K5LYN, calling and listening. Come in. Go ahead, Jay. Yes, sir. Uh, Susie, I don't know, I've never heard her sing, but she looks like an angel, so she's forgiven. Yeah, well, we need these stories. They add a lot to the net. I agree, Jay. All right. Who else for the boat anchors? K5LYN listening. Okay, let's see if KL7CD. Mike, are you still here? You want to put out a call? Well, I'll give it a try. I don't know that uh, you guys have worn it out, but I'll give it a try. You want me to? Sure, sure. I mean, they might be tired of us. Maybe they want to talk to somebody else. Okay, well, just so everybody knows where they are, you've stumbled onto the Boat Anchors Unlimited net. Uh, we're here every Wednesday night at 7.30 Central Time, and we talk Boat Anchors, uh, mostly single sideband. AM stations are welcome as well if they can zero beat pretty good. And uh, we're taking check-ins now, and, and, and if you're on a South State radio and interested in hearing what we're all about, you're welcome to check in uh, also. Anybody else for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? Anybody anywhere for the Boat Anchors Unlimited net? Come now. And you know, Lynn, I got on here one night and ran off about seven of them, eight of them after all you guys have been on. I, I think I've come up dry ever since. Well, it's unpredictable, Mike. Great try. Maybe we've done it tonight. I guess I'll uh, make my final transmission. We'll go around the table one time and say our 73s, and about that time, there'll probably be a bunch more check-ins. But uh, let me say, this was fun tonight. We'll do it again next week, and I'm going to listen out. K5LYN. Over to you, Jay. All right, Lynn. Yes, sir. Um, it was a good night. The band was good. The equipment sounded good. Everybody sounded great. No problems. Looking forward to more ham fests, less politics, more fun, more old radios, and um, maybe even an occasional adult beverage. Who knows? So uh, appreciate everyone that was here this evening. And before I go, is there anybody we missed? Hearing none, uh, seven three is y'all. We'll see you next week. KM5 QS. Uh, to you, Rusty. Okay, Jay. We appreciate it. Well, this is WK5R for the Boat Anchors Unlimited Net. Last call. Anybody else left out there that we haven't picked up yet? Come now. I don't hear anything, so we'd like to thank all of y'all for checking in. 
Jay, Lynn, myself, and Mike, all of us have did that control. We know what it takes to uh, keep these old rigs on the air. So we'll look for you next week. So this is WK5R with the Boat Acres Unlimited Net. Not closing the net and returning the frequency to normal amateur abuse.